Hello guys, I'm Torment and I'm here to help you set up a voice meeting with Discord. This will be a quick and dirty tutorial just for that function. So you can use your microphone into Discord and also play music into Discord and also separate game sound. So yeah, just follow along and it will be great. First, you're going to need to do is to download Voice Mirror. And I prepared here. And also, I would recommend to download the virtual cable so you can use more of the inputs. And we will be using Voice Mirror Banana today. So, you just click on download. I already done it. So, I don't need to. And this is the Banana web page. Just go here, download. When you're done with that, you can just close this out. Go to the folder where you downloaded. Mine is in downloads. And it comes in a zip package. I, will, I would just go and uh, extract all. I would have done that as well. And then do the same with the cable. I can find it. Yeah, there it is. Go extract all. And now we will install it. So I haven't installed it. I, un I uninstalled everything just to be able to show you guys. So cable package. I use 64 bit. So I would just right click, run as admin, install driver. And it's recommended to reboot. I'm not going to do that since I'm going to install voice meter straight away. Go into voice meter. I always run it as admin as well. You don't have to, but just in case. Installation ongoing. And while you, so I'm installing the potato, but I will use the interface of the banana. Uh, because when you install potato, you get banana and standard as well and also if you install banana you're getting standard installed as well and just okay it opens up the web page so you can go in and donate if you want to buy something whatever close this out now we have to reboot if you don't reboot nothing will work not properly anyway see banana 64 bit it might not end up here on yours uh, you might have to go start menu and just go down until you see VB audio and here you will see voice meter voice meter banana banana 64 bit that's the one you want to open so I will just do this on 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 the banana here so But first of all, how to restart engine, both uh, run on Windows startup, because otherwise you reboot the PC and uh, you don't have any sound. Now we're going to install a microphone. First of all, untick all these buttons. And mine is front mic. You can see it's working. I tap it, it's moving. And then real tech. You can you should supposed to do it the other way around. You choose your headset first and your mic, but I know it's working, so because yeah, you got a clock now. You got an internal clock on, on the software. So you don't actually don't need to have a hardware output. It can run without. And then the way I normally set this up is I set Where's the cable? I put the cable on stereo input two. Just because I like to have it there. You can put it on three if you want to, but this is so you can have more separation. You don't have to have the cable, but just a good thing. It's for free, so why not? And then you want to open up Windows sound settings. 
I normally do this either before or after. It doesn't really matter which order you do it. Sound settings. Yeah. It's a, mine automatically set it to input. So, yeah, otherwise you need to go and find voice media input. You set that as your output in Windows. And then you go down to your input. And normally it sets it to either B2 or B3. I already changed this one because I had a little bit of a issue with the recording. So you go in and you see voice meter out B1. You click on it. That's now your default device for microphone. And then output device should be voice meter input. Very important. And now you can then set your microphone here to B1. That means that the microphone is now sending to B1 that's over here. And that is set in Windows as your m default microphone. So anything that uses, uses the Windows default microphone will now get the sound from over here. And that's where the, the magic happens. Because now anything you put on stereo input 2, on the virtual inputs, can also be sent to your microphone. Okay, and now, since you have all this set up already, now let's go to Discord. Don't switch device. Voice video. And this is default by by default. <laughs> and yeah, so input device, you choose B1. Output device. I always normally what you would say go with voice meter input. I always say go with voice meter aux input. And the reason for that is that the input here is your default sounds in Windows. So anything that goes in here, go, goes on in Windows will go in here. So if you want to have separation from Discord, you need to set Discord on AUX or on cable. You can also do it on cable. So yeah, I can show you just choose cable. And I know you can right click on the headset. Yeah, so you can choose where is the cable. There you go, cable. And now anybody that talks in Discord will come through on stereo input 2. And then that needs to be on A1. So it gets sent to your headset. And also the input here needs to be on A1. And AUX also need to be on A1 if you're going to send it to your headset. And now, if you want, your music now will go by default on this channel. And, you, and also your games. So you could go in. Let me just open up something with sound here. Of course, I haven't signed in. Oh, bugger that. Let's open Chrome. YouTube. Oh, of course, ad blocker. Has, everything has need to be updated at the same moment. Play. Stop. And then you go to... sounds volume mixer now you look up chrome and you probably want to send that to aux so you got all the music coming in on aux there you go now i'll move this up to the corner i will open up chrome again have it play and you can see here on the view meter is going up and down. You can see the sound is coming through. It's going to A1, so it's going to the headset. If you wanted to play music for somebody in Discord, you would at this point press B1, and it would they would hear it. So let me stop this. And that works the same with games. Anything that uses B1 as a microphone, you can just send it there. If you want to have separate, so you send, like, say, 
uh, voice mod you can have voice mod coming in on stereo input 3 and send it to to b2 and put go let's say modern warfare go in and set b2 as your microphone and then they will hear your voice mod and anybody that's on b1 will then hear your standard voice so i bet you have a lot of questions right now but if you follow these instructions you should be fine if you have any questions just come to the discord on uh, vo the voice media discord vb audio and uh, ask anything you want to ask nothing is too stupid so just ask away say over there 